Pacho. Right. We are back. Thank you. And I mean, uh, I was a little bit in, rudely interrupted by the <laughs> the technology. Back to you, Bernard. I was talking about uh, Italy and why Corona is number one in the world in Italy. My well, thank you. Uh, I was uh, very explicit that Italy forms the center of uh, a Catholic church in the whole world. And every Sunday, every congregation they have, they should have the sacrament, the holy sacrament. Now, you know, they have said that the virus is spread through uh, the breath, uh, the mucus, and uh, through the hands when you touch, contact. the knees, contacts, all those. So I want to believe that Italy, having those uh, ceremonies and functions and events, which has which are so much religious could have actually increased the spread the rate of the spread of it the virus in italy mm. all right now in china I can say is because of the vast population you know china yeah. is what 1.4 billion people a quarter and you know that mingling that integration social integration and also what they eat these people eat uh they, 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 they eat rubbish now i was <laughs> saying back to kenya I'm asking the CS Mutawi to bring the, down the experts, the scientific experts, the mathematicians, the professors of math, math, and to explain to us the rate at which there is multiplication of one uh, infection or one infected person to another. And I was saying, we want Mutai Kawa to be very clear. Where are the 200 and how many? Uh, guys, yeah, yes, 239 uh, foreigners who came from abroad to Kenya when the whistleblower said, No, Actually, we have seen we had even Italy, yes, the next plane. And then, number two, uh, I was looking yesterday, uh, US has got 42,000 infected cases, and then the deaths are around 541. Now, we need to ask Mutai Kau. Today I have seen that the Kenyan government has created three more quarantine centers. Now the question, the priest came from Italy, administered in Nairobi, went to give sacraments in uh, CIA. Now the question, where is the quarantine center in the western region? In this case, we want to know. And the number two, Mr. C.S. Mutai Kawe, very serious question. I want you to respond to me. That one, do we have specialists who have been trained to establish the truth about and the extent about those people who have been infected? And if so, in Kisi, we don't have. I want to be very categorical. Now, seeing somebody with symptoms, I want to be very clear. Two weeks ago, in Kisi Teaching and Referral Hospital, where the Kisi University Vice Chancellor Professor Kama gave a memo disputing that there was no coronavirus. Now, a lady who is a university student was seen having the symptoms of coronavirus. She was rushed to KTRH, Kisi Teaching and Referral Hospital. Immediately, the medics confirmed she's got the symptoms, the signs of the infectious disease, coronarius virus. Now, she was placed in an isolation room at 3 in the afternoon. Now, at 10 in the night, she disappeared through the back door. Now, suppose this lady indeed was infected. How many people have been infected in Kisi? So, in summary, we have more than 100,000 infections in our country, starting from the priest going to 239 people who alighted at JKA and then going to uh, going to actually uh, this other guy called uh, the deputy governor Cliffy County because he mingled in uh, a club. Bernard, and that is my take. Bernard, because of time, yes. I want to introduce another guest uh, because Third King is loved with many people. This is a bosom friend for a long time. I didn't expect him today. I respect him. Can you introduce yourself to the cast, please? 
Thank you very much. I'm uh, Chara Paul, a resident of Kisi Town and a Kenyan citizen. Thank yeah. you very much. Now, uh, he's been talking about uh, the corona cases in Kisi, especially, and in the countrywide and in the world. What is your take? Well, uh, coronavirus, COVID-19, is a new disease. The first case uh, established in uh, 2019, and uh, it's very new. And uh, nobody can say he knows much about it. Yeah. And uh, what we need to do is to prevent. But sometimes I get flabbergasted when our country is not doing enough to prevent. Yeah. Actually, the cases we have now rising to 16 confirmed, we could have uh, we could have uh, managed them earlier or before they were identified. As my colleague has said, my friend has said. If we could have allowed, if, if we could have not allowed the 239 uh, Chinese uh, passengers, uh, passenger, passenger plane to land in Kenya, or I'm told even uh, even Italian plane that uh, a, a plane with Italian nationals that came to Kenya, and if we could have uh, not allowed anybody from abroad, now that this case was identified in 20, uh, 2019, and it was um, uh, killing everybody in uh, mm -hmm. one in, in China, if we could have not allowed any plane to come to Kenya, or those who came, if we could have guaranteed them, then we could not be having the magnitude of the virus we have now in the country. So everything is not lost. We need to accept the measures the government is taking, but sometimes we get also disturbed when the Minister for Health, uh, Tai Kagwe, gives uh, one-sided arbitrary orders. For example, he tells the matat people in the matatu industry to, uh, to accept the situation instead of do looking for mitigation measures. For example, what I expected from the government through Tai Kagwe uh, is the 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 uh, uh, fuel dealers would have been allowed to get fuel direct from the depots uh, with no taxes. Thus, the government could have yeah. now stopped yeah. taxes, waived all taxes, so that the Batatu people could have bought a, a oil or fuel without uh, taxes, so that they can also mitigate the cutting of uh, PSV passengers in their vehicle. But that not with the study. We come to our counties. I think the rural area counties should have we should have not even uh, closed markets. They should have not closed markets last week or the other weeks. What they could have done is they could have exactly. they could have moderated. Eh? They could have moderated because we have um, we have stockists who bring their stock to our markets, and then we have retail traders who get these goods from these stockists. They could have, for example, in my county, Kisi, we could have had uh, stockists going, for example, if it's Nyanya, they go to Kisi Primary. If it's Imboka and uh, Cabbage, they go to Nyambera Primary. If it's Bituba, maybe Bituba, they could have discarded altogether because Bituba comes from abroad. They could have discarded altogether so that our people could have accessed, could have gotten these goods. And then this week, or the, the second or third week, they could have now put a curfew. But anyway, this is at, as it may. This is a disease that is killing everybody. So we need to quarantine ourselves. And the government should look for mitigation measures to uh, see that those who quarantine themselves, especially those from hand to mouth, at least the billions we are getting from World Bank, that's 8.4 billion. The billions we are getting from say, from our central bank, that's 7.4 billion. And other donations go into giving food to people who are guaranteeing themselves so that people can have food while guaranteeing as we want well, that thank situation. You so much. Thank, thank you. you so much, sir. And uh, to crown everything, number one, I want to tell the Kenyan people what is happening in the world we don't have the capacity whatsoever, and I repeat, whatsoever, to conquer this disease. I'm going to use one word seven times. Quarantine, quarantine, quarantine.
quarantined seven times. And uh, if you go back to our country, thank you, the banks, I start with the banks. They talk about when you go to the bank right now, you have a loan, they are telling you, give us our pro your projections, how you're going to pay the, the loan. You don't even know how, how long you'll survive. How can you give a projection? I think the banks are now showing us that they are unscrupulous businessmen of this country. They don't care about their customers. Shame on you, the banks. Don't give us time limit, because even you yourself, the bank manager, you don't know how long you live. Nobody knows. We are in a quagmire. Don't give us time and uh, projections. KPLC, mmekuwa mnakata stima kila mahali. Si time saizi mtu kukosa stima. Food stamps kwa government. Kama mnataka quarantine, patia watu chakula kwa nyumba, maji kwa nyumba, sanitizer kwa nyumba, tutaingia quarantine. Tuko tayari quarantine ata sai. Number mwisho, rent. Hata mimi siende kulipisha rent for two months. Mimi ni landlord. Wengine wa follow suit. Bradangu, rent yako nita kulipa. Tutaenda kulipisha rent after two months. Tupatia wa Kenya, time wa adjust. Spa industries. Industry kama ya textile, tuna need material hizi vitu, tunavaa kwa mapua, tuna need sanitizers, tuna alcohol ya kutosha, ingine imekuwe impound in Nairobi. We need pharmaceutical plants. Because in China, we can't get all this shit together. Airborne disease. When I say my World Health Organization says, Corona imegeuka kwa airborne. Nobody knows about this pandemic. It's only God. If we are in an airborne, we don't need this fake mask. But I would love to thank Robert Manduko of EMA for giving us assistance in this duration to Napigana. This is one guy, Mwenya Meshikana. I love the Hindu community and the Indian community of Kisi Town for staying with Third Key because you know the end justifies the means. Eges FM today, I listened to you. There was a lady from Nyamira who was crying out. I was using Maziwa, Bila, Bila Ninamaliza Show. I was using Maziwa, Bila kupatiana chakula kwa nyumba ukimzuia lazima uze ile maziwa anasema government tupatie chakula tupatie madaktari tupatie sanitation sanitizers pale kwa nyumbani nyamira kebiriko and everywhere ndio tukae kwa nyumba tulishe watoto wetu alisema hivi afadhali corona kuliko njaa sio mimi nilisema ilikuwa kwa ege saa leo asubuhi taxes mafuta Unajua oil, fuel, and everything when I run economy yetu. Kama my president Uru Kenyatta, juzi ulisema juu ya reconciliation. Wewe usha haona wengine waoni. Wewe pako kangalia rehulu kwa muambia misi na shida. Tafadhali usizuia wa Kenya sana kupata chakula yao. But balancing act ni kwako. Angalia me tutasaidia lazima tukue quarantine. Ini ugonjwa kubwa. But Musiache, the people who are living one day a dollar, one dollar a day, hand to mouth, wa kufenja. Peace out, third kit na wapenda. We are doing the second session on Friday, na hawa wagenuangu. Thank you, peace out.